Hi, I'm Tim Neubauer, and this is your Safety Moment. Back again at Associated Scaffolding, where we're going to be talking about cross bracing. Cross bracing is, is uh, required in all sections of, of uh, scaffold. So I have a one section here, so I have two cross braces, one to front, one to the back. A competent person or an engineer of record can say, hey, I don't have to put in one of these, but that is not your decision. That is a competent person or an engineer who designed it. If you leave these things out, it becomes less stable. Uh, other thing to know about these is no bends, no cracks in them. They make sure that you have a tight connection here in the middle. Uh, most of the units nowadays use a bolt. They used to use rivets in the days past. And if you put it in a D-lock on, on either end, look over here, um, you have to have that little tang down here. You can't use number nine tie wire to, to tie it up. That, that's a big no-no. The other really important thing is these are not ladders. Uh, if this cross brace was not on here, I could literally take it in my hands and bend it over my knee and I would uh, be able to bend it. These will not support the weight of a, a person on there. Do not ever climb the cross braces. I'm Tim Neubauer and that is your safety moment.